Mastering the passive voice. English made easy. Hello, learners. Welcome back to another episode in our series about the intricacies of English grammar. Today, we're going to delve into the passive voice, and more specifically, the structure of passive voice sentences using the subject plus auxiliary verb plus past participle formula. Let's get started. In English, we use the passive voice to shift focus from who is doing something to what is being done. While active voice sentences focus on the subject performing the action, passive voice sentences focus on the action itself or the object receiving the action. The structure of a passive voice sentence can be boiled down to subject plus auxiliary verb plus past participle. Let's break this down. 1. Subject. This is the entity that the action is happening to. In the passive voice, the subject is the receiver of the action, not the doer. 2. Auxiliary verb. This is usually a form of be, is, am, are, was, were, been, being, that pairs with the main verb. 3. Past participle. This is the verb form that indicates the action. In English, past participles often end in ed for regular verbs or n for some irregular verbs, though there are many irregular verbs that do not follow these patterns. An example would be, the cake was eaten. Here, the cake is the subject, was is the auxiliary verb, and eaten is the past participle. Now, let's practice identifying passive voice in sentences. Remember, we're looking for subject plus auxiliary verb plus past participle. 1. The letters were written. This is a passive voice sentence. The letters is the subject, were is the auxiliary verb, and written is the past participle. 2. She was given a gift. Another passive voice sentence. Here, she is the subject, was given, is the auxiliary verb plus past participle combination. Notice that sometimes, the agent, the one who performs the action, might follow the sentence, introduced by, by. For example, the letters were written by the secretary. Here, the secretary is the agent. And there you have it, a brief rundown on how to construct and identify passive voice sentences using the subject plus auxiliary verb plus past participle structure. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to spot and use the passive voice with ease. Thank you for joining us today, and remember, learning a language is a journey not a race. Happy learning, and we'll see you in our next video.